Hello Broncos and welcome back to the WMU Alumni Association celebration of the 2020 Distinguished Alumni Award. Once again, I'm DeRondel Beverly, your host for this award presentation. Thank you for joining us for this special show as we continue to celebrate Alumni Spirit Week. One of the most exciting parts of presenting this award is learning about the impact a WMU education has had on each recipient. It's transformational. Each of these distinguished alumni entered this institution with their own aspirations, skills, and passions. During their time here, the relationships they formed and the experiences that they had both inside and outside the classroom helped to shape them into the powerful leaders they would become. But the best part is the many lives they've impacted through their leadership. Today, we will induct another Bronco into an elite group of distinguished alumni, Chris Womack a political science graduate from the class of 1979. I can't wait for you to learn more about how Chris went from a dorm room in Draper Hall to the boardroom of one of the country's largest power companies. To help with that, we'll hear from Dr. Carla Koretsky, Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. Hi, my name is Carla Koretsky and I'm the Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. I have the great honor of introducing you to our next 2020 Distinguished Alumni Award honoree, Chris Womack. Today, Chris is the president of Georgia Power, the state's largest electric and natural gas energy provider that serves more than 2.5 million customers across the state. Chris will assume the additional responsibilities of chairman and CEO of Georgia Power later this year. Prior to those positions, he served as the Executive Vice President and President of External Affairs at Southern Company, a Fortune 200 company worth over $60 billion and parent company to Georgia Power. But back in the late 1970s, Chris was a passionate political science major right here at Western Michigan University. He has been described as a student who had a memorable enthusiasm for learning. He often frequented his professor's offices to discuss current political issues and even served in student government. After receiving his bachelor's degree in political science from WMU in 1979, Chris headed to Washington, D.C., where he launched his impressive career. He began working as a legislative aide to U.S. Representative Leon Panetta. He later served as the staff director for the Subcommittee on Personnel and Police for the House Administration Committee. And then, in 1987, Chris returned to his native Alabama to take a job in government relations for Alabama Power, a subsidiary of Southern Company. From there, he quickly rose through the ranks within Southern Company, the second largest utility company in the nation. He held positions in public relations, human resources, and energy production prior to ascending to executive level leadership positions and before transitioning to lead Georgia Power. But as impressive as his professional accolades might be, it's his passion for improving the lives of those in need that sets Chris apart. Throughout his career, he has been invited to join multiple civic and community organizing boards. He has chaired or served as a member of the boards of the National Center for Civil and Human Rights, the Children's Healthcare of Atlanta Board, Communities and Schools of Georgia, the Boys and Girls Clubs of America, and the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, to name only a few. And in each instance, far from being a passive board member, Chris has assumed active leadership roles, contributing key service to transform the lives of others. In addition to this community service, Chris hasn't forgotten his alma mater. As a proud WMU alumnus, Chris serves on the WMU Foundation Board of Directors and previously served as president and member of the WMU Alumni Association Board of Directors. In 2003, he was the recipient of the Alumni Achievement Award in Political Science. Next, we'll hear from a close friend of Chris's, Michael Dudley, who serves as a business consultant with Corporate McDonald's. Well, we go back, uh, way back, uh, to our college days. Of course, we pledged together in the fraternity. So, a lot of fond memories of uh, the initiation process. <laughs> One of the most fondest memories, I, I, actually, is the fact that Chris uh, played a powerful role in connecting me uh, with my college sweetheart, uh, who later became my wife. I mean, that occurred over 40, almost 40 years ago that Chris kind of played the matchmaker, right? <laughs> and what was cool about that is 
he became my best man in my wedding. And uh, of course, we've, we've been friends uh, ever since. So much of what or who Chris has become was built into him as well as myself uh, as part of our foundation within the fraternity. We have a motto, and that motto is plain and simple. First of all, servants of all, we shall transcend all. And that uh, is a motto that Chris has lived his life by, uh, where we give back into the communities in which we do business or serve. And Chris has always been about uh, impacting and empowering people. So regardless of his position, he was always advocating for the powerless while working with the powerful. Without a doubt, uh, Chris has climbed the ranks because of his commitment, right, uh, to achieving his goals. We give him high marks for becoming the first uh, African-American to serve as CEO for, for Georgia Power. And it really speaks to Chris's willingness to stay the course and uh, stay in his wheelhouse and give back, uh, but also set a, an example of what can be accomplished, what can be achieved. And again, uh, it's reflective of our commitment as fraternity brothers that we always want to strive for excellence and reach positions of influence so that we can really make an impact. And of course, Chris has done that. And again, that's just a classic uh, move that Chris has made throughout the life that I've known him. Chris is a very humble, compassionate, uh, yet respectful and professional person who is worthy of any recognition that he can receive, particularly uh, from Western Michigan University. He's just well-liked and well-respected by so many people from all walks of life. Chris's impeccable career hasn't just caught WMU's eye. He has been recognized nationally with such honors as the Let Us Make Man Community Service Award in 2019, the National Award of Merit from Alpha Phi Alpha in 2011, the Boy Scouts of America Silver Beaver Award, and the Black Enterprise Porsche Intelligent Performers Award in 2010, and was ranked on the Black Enterprise 100 Most Powerful Executives in Corporate America in 2012. With his exceptional achievements as a top executive of a leading Fortune 500 company, and especially his dedicated public service, he is an outstanding role model for our current students and a reminder of the critical mission of Western Michigan University. On behalf of the College of Arts and Sciences, Chris, I offer my sincerest congratulations. Welcome, Chris. I'm delighted that you can join us today. Congratulations on being named a 2020 Distinguished Alumni Award recipient. Thank you very much. It's a, it's, a, it's a great honor, and I'm very, very privileged to receive this award. Fantastic. We're definitely proud of you and all of your accomplishments. Jumping right into it, I'm a 2000s grad. Uh, you were here on campus in the late 1970s, and I'm sure a lot has changed from the time when I was on campus to the time that you were here. Do you have a favorite memory of uh, your time as a student here at WMU? I mean, I, I have a lot uh, from my early days in, in Draper Hall to being on the radio at WIDR back in, back in some of the early days. And I mean, from fraternity parties and, and gatherings on Friday and Saturday night, uh, just had a ton of fun times at Western. That's fantastic. Uh, looking back at, at your career, once you started, once you left Western, looking at all the challenges you've overcome, but also the successes that you've achieved, how did your WMU education prepare you for your life post, uh, post college? I always had a love for politics, and so I took a bunch of political science courses, and I ran across a wonderful professor who, who actually became just a dear friend of mine, uh, David Houghton. And he then connected me with Robert Bob, who was the city manager of Kalamazoo at the time. And his, the assistant city manager was a person named Cheryl Scully. Working with them gave me kind of great exposure to things about how government worked, but also 
seeing things in a kind of much bigger and grander perspective and said, okay, okay, this is this may be what I wanted to do. So taking that experience then got me excited about government. And then I went to Washington, D.C. the summer before I graduated and took an internship with Ralph Nader. And that mm. further kind of whetted my appetite about what I wanted to do, but ended up having kind of an eight-year career working on Capitol Hill for, for Leon Panetta. And thanks to David and his kind of encouragement and nurturing, those things happened in my life and, and kind of gave me the platform and foundation to move through uh, the next 30 plus years of, of my life and my career to kind of where I am today. That's wonderful. Broncos are tremendously passionate people. That's one of the things I love about whenever I meet uh, other fellow Broncos. Can you give me a sense of where that passion comes from and how you continue to perhaps use that as a, as a source of strength as you continue your journey? Well, I tell you, a lot of my passion came, came from my grandmother who always challenged me and, and my brothers to be involved, but also, also said, you know, you can, you can be whatever you want to be. And so coming to Western, I had this incredible confidence that I mean, whatever path I chose, I mean, I could make that work. I think between my upbringing, but people who I encountered at Western, who kind of helped coach, develop, motivate, nurture, encourage. I mean, that's the kind of stuff that, that I saw in Western. And I experienced at Western that I think uh, really made, it, made, made a major contribution in kind of the career and the life that, I, that I've experienced and, and what I'm doing today. That's great. Uh, finally, uh, you're about to join an elite group of 150 distinguished alumni at Western Michigan University. What makes you most proud of WMU today? Western's a very special place, and I don't take that for granted. And so to be kind of in that small number, knowing, knowing Western's history and knowing the, the kind of individuals and, and the persons that have come through that place, it's a, uh, it's a very, very special honor. And so, I mean, I take it with great pride. I, I take it with, with great honor uh, to be in that small number and to be recognized uh, with, with this award. All right, well, well-deserved and well-earned. Uh, it's time. President Montgomery, take it away. Chris, I congratulate you on receiving this well-deserved honor. The Western Michigan University Distinguished Alumni Award. You've embodied true Bronco excellence in every role that you've taken, both as Georgia Power's president and soon its chairman and CEO, and in your many service roles that make a difference in truly improving your community. While your life has taken you far from Kalamazoo, you haven't left Western in the past by continuing to make valuable contributions to the alumni and foundation boards, ensuring that future Broncos will enjoy the rich and rewarding educational experience that you enjoy. On behalf of the entire Bronco community, thank you and congratulations. Dr. Montgomery, thank you very much for this honor. Thank you very much for, for this award. I, I have to say that I never thought I would be receiving this award from, uh, from Western. I was never necessarily the, um, the best student, but I was one who I think fully enjoyed my time and my experience uh, at Western and all that Western had to, had to afford me. And so I thank Western a lot for what I have accomplished and who I am today. Uh, Western and my experiences with so many of my professors, so many of the colleagues and, and classmates that I got to know kind of helped challenge me to, to explore, to, to not accept uh, mediocrity, not accept uh, what was necessarily on the surface, uh, but challenge myself to be better, challenge myself to be, to be greater, and, and challenge myself to, uh, to do what was not always obvious and to not be afraid to take risk. And so those foundational things that I got from Western has been a great source of, of success that I, that I have today. I mean, I, I have to think, and I mentioned earlier, 
uh, the David Houghtons of the world. David was a, a wonderful professor, but also a, a dear friend of mine uh, throughout my time at Western. And no matter what I was going through in terms of what class next or what project or what possibilities, he was always there to listen to me uh, in, in so many ways. Like I said, Chad Rogers, another wonderful political mind, uh, campaign leader in, in the early 70s who kind of inspired me to, to embrace and, and pursue politics uh, from, a, from a, a, a working standpoint. That kind of motivated me to inquire and look at Capitol Hill as a, as a place to work. And so I owe Chad and David so much for, for kind of what happened to me in terms of getting my career started. I mean, I can go through so many things that I have done over the, say, the past 40 years of, of my life. And I have to look back and thank uh, people who are part of my life back at Western as contributing greatly to to what I have accomplished. So again, Dr. Montgomery, thank you so very much for this award. And let me sincerely thank Western Michigan for the contribution and all that it is, has given to me and given to my life. Guys, thank you very much. And thank you, Chris. You make us all proud to be Broncos. And again, on behalf of the WMU Alumni Association Board of Directors, I want to again thank you for all of your accomplishments and congratulations. Thank you very much. My fellow Broncos, it is an honor to be a part of an institution with alumni like Chris Womack. Through his exceptional professional work in the public sector and the breadth of his volunteerism, he exemplifies our university's mission of succeeding in life and contributing to the betterment of our communities from local to global. Please join me again on Thursday as we continue to celebrate Alumni Spirit Week and recognize our next Distinguished Alumni Award recipient. Until then, I'm DeRondo Beverly. Please stay safe and go Broncos. <laughs>